Hey y'all, um, just a real quick channel update I guess, whatever, I don't know if you want to call us a Toss the Bones, I used to do a Toss the Bones videos and called them my channel updates, whatever. Uh, really quick, let's get right to the point with the Zombicide uh, uh, gameplays, playthroughs. Uh, I really appreciate all you guys that are watching. Um, that, that's pretty cool. It's a fun game, and uh, I'm gonna. What I'm doing now is I'm just cutting them into 15, 20 minute segments, and uh, putting them on there. I'm not. Uh, I put one up there for 54 minutes. I'm sitting there. You know, there's no way even I wouldn't even uh, mess around with uh, watching that long of a video unless. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I got that up there and. Um, so I'm doing mission number four. Um, I'm gonna have part part two up there pretty soon. I already got it pretty much edited. Just need to get it uploaded on YouTube. And I'm playing part three right now. And eh, we'll see what happens. Um, it's kind of 50-50 if we're gonna survive this or not. So besides that, with the channel, um, I have uh, got the bug to build some more. Um, um, trash train, so you're gonna see quite a bit of that. Uh, I just use trash and build train out of them, so it's a real fast. It can be a fast, and it's a it's an easy way to get some a train on the table. I still don't have much train. I've been actually, I bought some uh, some train off of uh, Etsy, which is a pretty decent place to go find some train for cheap uh, com compared to eBay. Um, now a lot of this train, you know. If you have the time you can do it yourself but go get some of that uh insulation foam board and you can build mountains and you know stuff like that i do need to start getting some trees going um i'm actually picking up some since you know i do landscaping i am picking up some like uh real dead uh tree branches and in what's the you know can't can't beat that i mean the real lifelike you know mother nature provides the true thing so um, so I was thinking about doing some like uh, dead tree hedges and stuff and try to get that going. Uh, I may go ahead and bite the bowl and buy some trees and uh, go that route. Uh, besides that, uh, Rocky's War Room just had their uh, Rocky's War Room uh, Wiley Games crossover this past weekend. They had a pretty good time. Was, uh, I wish I was there. Uh, that was pretty good. Uh, they. Uh, Matt Rocky's War Room. He did uh, record uh, quite a bit, of it, and there's pictures on the Facebook and and on the Discord channel. Um, if you guys have some ch time, check that out. Uh, it, why these games is probably you know I I'm I'm why these game system is pretty easy to learn, and uh, I'm really close to getting my first game on here. Uh, Wasteland Warriors uh, Western or uh, Galactic Heroes is the new one I got. He has a Might and Melee coming out um, in September, I believe. Uh, you still have like, I think, six or seven days to pre-order it on his site. Um, for like, I think it's a, he has actually a hardcover there, and I think that's the three-in-one, the hardcover. Or you can get all three separate, uh, all three books. It's the uh, Might and Melee, the Magic, and then the Monster one. Um... For the fantasy game he's got going that's going to be out uh he did uh put out a revised edition of the muskets uh hatchet muskets whatever it's the 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 was it the indian french indian wars the, that kind of stuff i'm not too familiar with that obviously so i did get a couple games um from a manager market there i'm going to try out matter of fact one of them's right here uh, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but it's called Hit Z Road. This was actually this actually came out in 2016. It could be solo or played with the family. Um, gonna be looking into this. It looks pretty interesting. I'm into zombies. Sorry, that's just what I'm into. Uh, also, for if you if there's still any model kit builders, scale modelers on that are still subbed to my channel, <laughs> since I kind of took a 180 over to the miniature uh, miniature uh, world. Uh, I am I am building a couple models too. Uh, have them up here pretty soon, and uh, get that taken care of. I haven't totally, you know, 
disown that hobby. That's pretty much where my roots came from was the scale modeling. Uh, I do obviously have a couple. You can see a few of them up here. There's Hit the Beach, Flames of War. Um, going to have to be painting that here pretty soon. Uh, but I do have a couple more up here. Uh, I've been selling quite a few of them. It, a lot of them are dust collectors. That's the only thing about, uh, for me, now that I build uh, miniatures and uh, trash terrain and all that, and, you know, and there's actually some uh, vehicles you could build in miniature, in the miniature wargaming. You build them, you can play with them. You can put them on the table and start using them. And, stuff. and that's pretty much what got my attention and got me into that. So, and <clears throat> the stories and all that and doing all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, it was just, this is just a quick update. Uh, I did, uh, get, I did, I think I told you guys I have Zombicide 2nd Edition and Washington ZC and Fort Hendrick should be here either today or tomorrow. Uh, so... I really want to try to start playing that. Well, I, I want to stick to my journey. I want to stick to my first, start from the first edition and go all the way through. So, uh, next, you know, I'm on, you know, I'm on mission four here. Finish the rest of the missions in the book, the rule book, and then I'm gonna hit prison outbreak. Uh, I got gotta start painting some of those too because I like to have painted miniatures on the game board. But I will play with them if they're not uh, painted. So. It just it looks neat. That's uh, that last uh, last video with the Zombicide first edition all miniatures painted, which was seventy one miniatures painted, which is the most I've done in a year. Um, a lot of views on that, and I appreciate that. That was pretty cool. Uh, and I'm I'm actually I'm gonna say I'm proud that I actually accomplished that. It was cool. Not the best painter. I am not the best painter. I'm tabletop quality if I can or below the table. You know just enough to where they look decent and get them on the table or the board or whatever i am actually miniature wargaming minute and board gaming uh there's a lot of board games out there that have awesome miniatures like on the side and <clears throat> um uh, what's that new one that i was looking at that just came out well bloodborne's been out but you know i like to try to get the ones the miniatures that are similar to the same size and all that so uh, there's the scent. I was looking at that. Of course, uh, that's pretty expensive now. I don't know if FFG's got. Yeah, they they have released the second edition, I think. So, I'm rambling now. I was just doing a quick update and letting you guys know that my Zombicide uh, gameplays playthroughs are going to be about 15, 20 minutes now, and I'm just going to cut it off, uh, and you know, and expect another part to show up a few days afterwards, or whatever. So. Um, that's it. Uh, got a lot of paint around here. Uh, I'm gonna probably after this video, I'm gonna bust out over on the trash train and start uh, getting that done and make a video on that. Uh, subscribe and uh, leave comments below. Um, and uh, hit, the, I guess, hit the bell. I uh, notice people are starting to hit the bell down here, whatever. Uh, and I'll, I'll just let you know when my next video is up. Uh, not looking, you know. I'm not looking at this as, you know, some monetization, whatever. Warning, so, warning, you know, like, warning, uh, alien approaching. You know, that, hey, if you can, go for it. You know, it's, it's a hobby. If you do, do what you love, money will follow kind of thing, you know. And if you're real and true to what you, what you'd like to do and passionate about it, go for it. Uh, I see no problem in that stuff. I'm tired. I'm, here's my little rant. I'm just tired of people, you know, putting down guys that are, you know, they monetize or whatever. And it's like, those channels are not forcing you to do it. Um, they're not forcing you at all. And if you truly love love what they're doing and stuff, then, yeah, support them. It's just like supporting outside of YouTube. And stuff. I mean, you pay for subscriptions for stuff, right? So, same kind of thing, you know, subscriptions or whatever. Because you enjoy it, you like it. So, it's the same dang thing. So, quit, you know... So I quit knocking on those channels. Now, if there, now there are channels out there that are, you know, fake about it. You know, really like, you know, just fake whatever. That I could understand. But for the channels that are real passionate about it and just really love what they're doing and stuff and love sharing it, and they do that, hey, and you enjoy them and you like, you know, you like them and you can relate to them somehow, some way. We can't relate to all the channels. I know that, but you know, the certain ones and they have that stuff. Go ahead and support them, whatever. 
and so if you want to you know heck you're supporting him just by watching the video and the views and stuff that's it that's supporting him right there too and so anyways it's just a personal uh, preference or whatever and i just i don't know where that, that just kind of went that way on huh, didn't it <laughs> so but all right i'll shut up about that uh i got nothing else going on but just giving you guys a heads up you're gonna see a whole lot more zombie side because i love it uh, I know I'm a late to the late to the show or whatever, but I love it. And uh, got got the trash train bug in me and the model kit bug in me. So keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Uh, ask questions below. Uh, I'll answer them. I try my best to reply to uh, to uh, the comments and all that. So okay, I think I talked enough because I think I'm up to yeah almost 11 minutes here. Yeah, I have bifocals as you can tell. My yeah oh, yeah okay. So, alrighty, take it easy. Oh, uh, I just watched uh, Goober Town Hobbies. Uh, I have to admit, that was pretty cool. He took four or five space marines, and he's a fisherman. He loves to fish, and I love to fish. Um, he likes doing a lake. I like doing the streams, though. But um, he took four space marines and, and, made, it, and uh, made them into lures. Took them out to the lake, and he's getting fish just like that. Of course, the Dark Angel one, he uh, didn't tie the not too tight, and it kind of took off. So, but uh, I guess the Imperial Fist right now is the, the Imperial Fist Marine has brought him in like a couple or two or three fish off it. He's got it on his, uh, on his channel. Pretty dang cool using uh, the Space Marines as fishing lures. So, I just might try that. <laughs> so, alrighty. I hope you guys have a great week. I uh, hope the weekend's great. Happy 4th of July. I, that, yeah, that's this weekend, so I'll say that right now. Happy 4th of July. Be safe out there. Don't be stupid behind a wheel. And enjoy the barbecues and the grills and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be home by myself. The girls, my wife and the girls are going to be heading up to uh, to our to the cabin or whatever. We call it the cabin. It's actually a house, but up in, up in the White Mountains, so... And I have, yeah, I have to stay home because I got I got to work. Um, this is my season of, of working, so uh, of work, whatever you know, my busy time. So <sighs> be batching it. It'll be kind of nice, huh? So all right, I'm back. I'm babbling again. Oh, watch Molly for Advantage. They just had a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool uh, live show there with Duncan or whatever. So, uh, boy, take it easy. Boy, be safe. Bye. <laughs> And like that.